The order banks for the 2024 Mustang have been out for a few weeks now. So today we're gonna to go over EcoBoost GT and Dark Horse and all the packages involved to find out which combination is right for you. Before we dive into the builder on Ford.com, I do wanna go over a couple of the main changes. Obviously, the 2024 Mustang is an entirely new generation of Mustang. With that said, many of the exterior and interior styling aesthetics are totally different. Under the hood, we're going to see a brand new 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. We haven't heard much talk about this because all the focus has been on the fourth gen Coyote and the dark horse motor, uh, but I am excited to hear uh, horsepower numbers, torque numbers, things like that of what we can expect from the new 2.3 liter EcoBoost. As mentioned, obviously the fourth gen Coyote, we're very excited about those dual throttle bodies and dual intakes. Additionally, you have the drift brake and remote rev with the key fob, which is an industry first, actually being able to rev the car from the key fob that's available on automatic transmissions only. Speaking of transmissions, the EcoBoost is only available in an automatic. Honestly, I'm a little saddened to hear that. I have a blast driving our Q350 EcoBoost out on track and autocross, but at the end of the day, if that's the price we have to pay to be able to get the stick shift and the GT and the Dark Horse, I'm willing to pay it. And on top of that, the EcoBoost with the automatic is still a very stout combo. And with the exhaust, we're gonna go back in time a little bit to 15 to 17, back when they had those dual three and a half inch tips. The 2024 GTs with non-active will go back to the dual tips. If you want the quad tip exhaust, you have to opt for the active, which honestly is totally fine because you get that extra power boost as well. Additionally, the new colors, Paper blue metallic, yellow splash metallic, and blue ember. Blue ember being the uh, color available on the dark horse only. And unfortunately, we're deleting mischievous purple and fighter jet gray. Love the fighter jet gray on those Mach 1s. Additionally, on the interior, it is completely different with all of the digital enhancements of the screen you see on the premium that kind of wraps around you. And the base models even have those two screens right in front of you and for the infotainment as well. You'll see Sync 4.0, which also has the available wireless charging and the USB charging port for your cellular device. And in terms of packages, very excited to see a bronze appearance package. Looks absolutely awesome on the cars that we've seen rolling around the streets of Detroit as well as in person at the reveal last September. So without further ado, let's dive into the builder itself. You have EcoBoost Fastback, the base non-premium, all the way up to the Dark Horse Premium. The EcoBoost Fastback, uh, bottom of the barrel, but again, you get a lot of features right out of the box on the base model that we did not see before on the S550 Mustang. It has the available active valve exhaust with the quad tips, customizable interior screens, and the base model, keep in mind, you don't get that one screen that wraps around you, it's actually gonna be two separate screens. Uh, you have the Copilot 360, which is really cool, Ford Pass Connect, and track apps even in the EcoBoost. So moving on with the premium, you get the approach detection with the welcome and fa farewell exterior lighting. That is really cool if you haven't seen it already. As you walk up to the car, the uh, daytime running lights up top actually blink back and forth between white and amber, uh, just kind of giving you that premium feel, uh, obviously on the premium Mustang. Uh, you have a body color blade deck lid spoiler, the ambient lighting with my color, the ActiveX heated and cooled, driver and front passenger seating, as well as the selectable driving modes. Another thing to note on the EcoBoost itself does not have that hood vent, much like the previous EcoBoost models in the S550. So a very distinguishing feature there, aside from the front fascia, so it doesn't have that vent. Uh, moving on to the base GT, starting at 41,495, you have the six speed manual transmission with rev matching. If you have a manual transmission, you have rev matching in the S650 Mustang. You also have the high gloss black painted front grille, uh, which is a really distinctive look on the GT itself. I think it looks awesome. The functional hood vent, which does a great job of extracting heat and helping with aerodynamics at speed. Uh, the larger front brake rotors and four piston non-painted fixed calipers. Obviously, if you want to upgrade the brakes, you can do so uh, also by getting the performance package. And then starting out with 18 inch ebony black painted aluminum wheels. Moving on to the GT Premium, starting at 46015. Again, you get the ambient lighting with my color, the magnesium framed curved glass display. That's again, the curved display that 
separates the speedometer area, the gauge cluster right in front of you to the infotainment in the center stack. Uh, you have the available 19 inch wheel with the Brembo brake system and the Mustang Pony logo. Uh, selectable drive modes and of course Sync 4, which is uh, available on Mustangs across the board. And then moving forward to Dark Horse, you have the Tremec 6 speed manual 6 Sync 4.0 technology with that 13.2 inch touchscreen, the Gen 3 Magneride damping system. Yes, that means they revised Magneride for the S650 Mustang, specifically on Dark Horse, which is really, really cool, knowing that they are continuing to push the envelope and make that system better and better and better. Um, you also have the unique titanium anodized blue shift knob. We've seen that in a lot of videos floating around from the New York International Auto Show. It also has an increased top speed to 168 miles an hour on the manual transmission Dark Horse. Moving on to the Dark Horse Premium, if you want the cream of the crop with every option, you're gonna start here. Uh, you can expect the Accent Stitch center console lid, wrapped knee bolsters, and Accent Stitch shifter boot. It's that beautiful indigo blue that's uh, unique to the Dark Horse on these newer 2024 Mustangs. Uh, you have the color accented seats, again, in that indigo blue, which looks really good with vapor blue. A lot of those neutral, actually, it looks good with everything, let's be honest. The leather wrapped steering wheel with the flat bottom, which is available on all of the S650 Mustangs. And of course, you have the option to spec it out with the Dark Horse Appearance Package. Starting off with the EcoBoost Premium, we will do the premium level of each trim. Now, if you wanna opt for the 201A package, you can expect the illuminated door sill plates, the BNO sound system, which does sound really good, uh, the memory driver's seat, which is always helpful, Copilot 360 assist, the garage door opener up top on the visor, the premier trim and color accent group, and of course the security package. So we'll go ahead and opt for that. You have the option for the night pony package. On the EcoBoost, it's available on the base EcoBoost, the EcoBoost Premium, the GT, and the GT Premium, basically anything but Dark Horse. Uh, it comes with 19 by eight and a half black wheels with 255, 40, 19 W rated tires. Obviously that is if you do not have the GT performance package, otherwise you get a different uh, tire option with a little bit more summer oriented. The black GT 5 and pony badges, black mirror caps, black roof, which is painted. Um, the headlamps with the black bezel. This is something that I noticed is very cool on the new 2024 Mustangs. They went the extra mile, Ford did. Uh, when you talk about the Night Pony package on the S550 Mustang or the Black Accent package, there were no changes to the headlights. Um, that is not the case for 2024. They took the time to put a black bezel in those headlights in comparison to the Chrome one we normally see uh, going all the way back to the beginning of Mustang. There's always pretty much been Chrome bezels. Um, I know that for S197 and S550, uh, but now they went the extra mile to have that um, that dark, sinister look uh, in the headlamps, which is pretty cool. You also have a black uh, deck lid spoiler, and you can't pair it with the bronze appearance package, which obviously makes sense because you're opting for the black night pony package. You also have the uh, high performance package. I would highly recommend this if you do look to get the EcoBoost Mustang and plan to drive a Mustang as a Mustang should be driven, autocross back roads, even down the drag strip, things like that. Uh, you're looking at 355 Torsen, which is very helpful. 19 by nine with 255 summer tires all the way around. A black star tower brace, uh, the carbon black grill, uh, the electric hand operated parking brake, front towing hooks, heavier front springs, but obviously you can always upgrade to the Steeda springs if you're looking for a little bit more. 19 inch Brembo brake system with the performance linings black with white logo brake calipers. Um, we did see in the spy photos that, uh, courtesy of Ford Authority, that you are able to get the six piston Brembos up front on the EcoBoost high performance package with the four piston in the rear, which is great for braking in high performance situations. Paddle shifters with the automatic, uh, a different deck lid spoiler that's painted body color on the fastback, spoiler delete obviously on the convertible. Unique chassis tuning, unique electric power assist steering, ABS and stability control, and, e and an upsized rear sway bar to handle the different spring frequencies that you're gonna see with the high performance package. And you can see right here, it wants to add the 355 gears. I'll tell you right now, that definitely helps quite a bit with acceleration. We're gonna go ahead and say yes, because 
that is goes hand in hand with the 2.3 liter high performance package. You have the wheel and stripe package. Uh, it has 19 by eight and a half machine face aluminum tarnished dark black painted pockets, uh, hood stripe and a side stripe. Uh, we don't quite know what these wheels look like yet, uh, but we'll be sure to let you know in future videos once they do come out with images uh, and we get our hands on some of these Mustangs, exactly what that looks like. The bronze appearance package comes with 19 by nine and 19 by nine and a half wheels in that bronze, beautiful color. 255 tires all the way around with a special edition sales badge. And you can see a couple different wheel options here. You have the bronze, the Night Pony black. It looks like they're the same style, just one's bronze and one's black. Um, you also have a new star design here, which looks pretty cool. Um, it looks like a luster nickel version of the previous performance package wheel that's available here. Oh, those are 20s, very cool. Moving on to interior, you have a couple exterior options here. You can do rear spoiler delete, indoor covers, deck lid spoiler, but obviously keep in mind that some of these standalone options are required to have packages along with them. Engine block heater if you live up north, uh, Magneride damping system, so that's something you can add on, on top of the high performance package. It's available on the EcoBoost Premium with the 2.3 liter high performance package. So that's something to keep in mind if you do have an EcoBoost and you are looking to get the high performance package, but you want Magneride too, you're gonna have to opt for the extra 1750 to get the Magneride damping system. Active valve exhaust, you can add that too, that's 1225. It's available on all trims, standard on the dark horse. Again, that active valve has those quad tips. You also have a few different interior colors available. You have black onyx, space gray, ember glow. Love to see ember glow, it's a great throwback to the 60s Mustang. And of course, carmine red, uh, which is a darker red, um, and new for the 2024 Mustang. You also have the option for Recaros on the Fastback Mustangs only. You can't get that with the convertible, unfortunately. Comes out to 45,925 on an EcoBoost Premium, which is not too shabby for a car that can do quite a bit, obviously. We've done a ton with our S550 EcoBoost Mustang. We're very excited to get our hands on another EcoBoost and do the same thing. All right, moving on to the GT Premium Fastback. Obviously we have to do iconic silver and the reason for that being is, that's exactly what we ordered. We ordered an iconic silver 10 speed car as a, we'll call it silver bullet 2.0. Very excited to get our hands on that and start breaking some drag race records because that's what it's all about. Five liter Gen 4 Coyote. You obviously have on the GT, the option for the MT82, which is a new generation MT82. Obviously the MT82 doesn't have the best reputation. We all know that, uh, but there are a series of parts you can add to strengthen it quite a bit. And with the new generation MT82, we can expect hopefully some more strength involved. But if that's not your thing, you can always add the 10 speed automatic transmission if you're looking for maximum acceleration. And we've tested the 10 speed out on track in the Mach 1. And uh, I can tell you right now, that 10 speed does really well on the road course. We've tested it out at the firm and uh, don't be afraid of it is all I'm saying. And with the GT, you have the 315, which is standard on the uh, regular GTs. But if you opt for uh, the GT performance package with the manual, you will get 373s. If you opt for the GT performance package with the automatic, you will get 355. And in our testing with the silver bullet, trying to get break those records, get into the nine seconds in a naturally aspirated combination. We put all kinds of gears in that 2018 Mustang in the rear. And we'll tell you right now, 355 is definitely the way to go. Going forward, you have the 401A package. So let's see what you get with the 401A package. In the GT Premium 401A package, you get B&O sound system, illuminated door sill plates, the Premier Trim Color Accent Group, Security Package, Copilot 360 Assist, and Memory Seats. Obviously, we have to opt for the GT Performance Package, which gets you 19 by nine in the front, 19 by nine and a half in the rear, carbonized gray painted aluminum wheels. That's interesting that they went to a gray wheel for the GT Performance Package, because historically for all of S550, it was always black, interesting. 19-inch uh, Brembo brake system with the performance lining, uh, linings, black with the white logo on the calipers. Obviously, you can swap those out if you want to option in the, gra the grabber blue or the red brake calipers. The electric hand-operated parking brake, everyone loves that drift brake. 
the front tow hooks, the painted ebony, ebony black grill, uh, different front springs that are heavier duty, a K brace, a performance raised rear wing, which is painted body color, uh, the black painted strut tower brace. We went over the gears already, unique chassis tuning, unique stability control, E-pass and ABS tuning, and of course an upsized rear sway bar. And if you order the GT Performance Package with the Bronze Appearance Package, which uh, we'll throw that up on screen as well. We saw yellow splash courtesy of Mike Levine up at Ford. Yellow splash with the performance package and bronze appearance package is an awesome combo. You wouldn't think yellow and bronze would work, but it looks really good. Uh, you get the same size wheels, but again, the sinister bronze wheels with the summer only tires. And if you go with the night pony package, you guessed it, the same wheels, but in that black painted aluminum color. So obviously we have to add the GT Performance Package, that is a must. And the Bronze Appearance Package, which I'm sure would look really good with Iconic Silver, right? Being a neutral color with that bronze. Exterior options, you have vehicle covers, things like that, performance rear wing, raised wedge deck lid spoiler, that's a standard on the GT and GT Premium, included with the 2.3 liter high performance package. Engine block heater, opt for the Magneride damping system. Uh, active valve performance exhaust, obviously need to get that. Now remember, if you want the quad tips, you need to get the active exhaust. You also see the power bump, yes, uh, but the remote rev feature, keep in mind, is only available with the active exhaust. And moving on to the Dark Horse Premium, you have the modified Coyote engine, the Gen 4 5 liter, which includes the GT500 internals and beefier camshafts for some additional power, making that 500 horsepower. Transmission, you're looking at a six speed Tremec as standard on the dark horse, as well as an option for the 10 speed automatic transmission. We're gonna opt for the Tremec because that's what we enjoy on the road course more often. But again, the 10 speed does a great job as well as we've tested in the Mach 1. You also have the option for the Dark Horse Appearance Package that is gonna take away our Oxford White and add Shadow Black. The Dark Horse Appearance Package comes with a black painted roof, unique brake calipers, notorious blue with the Grabber Blue logo. This is what was seen on the press photos with that blue ember uh, Dark Horse. Definitely a unique color combination for the brake calipers. Also a unique hood graphic as well. Dark Horse Handling Package. Let's see what you get with the Dark Horse Handling Package. You get 19 by 10 and a half inch wheels up front, super wide, with 19 by 11 in the rear, tarnished dark painted aluminum wheels, 305 3019 up front, 315 3019 rear, and again, those adjustable strut top mounts that allow for great camber adjustment while you're out on track. Also comes with front towing hooks, the Magneride damping system, a performance rear spoiler with the additional gurney flap for that just a little bit more downforce and the revised chassis tuning. The two different wheel options that are available with the Dark Horse, the 19 by 10 and a half front, 19 by 11 rear with the handling pack or the base Dark Horse, which is 19 by nine and a half in the front and 19 by 10 rear. Same size you will see on the current S550 Mach 1s. What you're not seeing here is the carbon fiber wheel option, which does have late availability. So if you're looking for the carbon fiber wheels for that additional reduction in rotational mass, that is something you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for. You can get brake calipers with the Grabber Blue or White logo, brake calipers with the black and white logo. Obviously, because we got the appearance package, we get that notorious blue brake caliper color. Obviously, have to get the Recaros for maximum support. And after that, rolling through the rest of the exterior and, and interior, many of the additional options you would look to get with the EcoBooster GT are already included from the get-go with the Dark Horse, so there isn't really much to option out after that. Uh, you can get a couple of the dealer add-ons, the premium floor liners, things like that. Uh, but aside from that, you are pretty much set to go with your Dark Horse Premium Shadow Black. Beautiful, $70,860. Worth every penny if you ask me. 500 horsepower and arguably, well, we'll find out when we get our hands on it, but we really are excited to see how well these handle out on track. With all the revised chassis tuning, it's going to be 
incredibly exciting to get these things out and see what kind of lap times they turn, not only on a road course, but also ETs at the drag strip too. Stay tuned to the Steeda YouTube channel because we ordered multiple 2024 Mustangs. We are very excited to get our hands on these, start making some parts and testing and pushing the envelope, what we do best here at Steeda. Comment below and let us know what package you would spec for your 2024 Mustang. If you've already ordered one, let us know which one you've ordered because we are just as excited as you are. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, that notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.